Big thanks to Setapp for sponsoring our channel this month. Setapp, an app for every job already on your Mac. When Andy Minio says, the person he's talking to is himself. And it's true. In life, we're often our own biggest opponents, especially when it comes to getting stuff done. Today, I'm going to show you how to be ultra productive and efficient by showing you the apps and techniques that I use, along with the optimizations I've made across my iPhone, iPad, Mac, and Apple Watch to create a video like this. In my mind, productivity starts with two things. Number one is a goal, and number two is a system. A goal lets you know what you're working towards, while a system makes sure that that work doesn't bog down and that you use your time efficiently. I've found that productivity is a really personal thing. So what works for me probably won't be a perfect fit for you. But seeing my workflow should spark lots of ideas for you. I'ma put in work, I'ma do that ASAP. So my weekly goal is to make the best video that I can. And the system that I like to use to make that happen has a French name, which is which means everything in its place. Every piece of information I deal with has a place to go, which means I'm always prepared and organized for whatever task needs to happen next. So not only do my best ideas never slip through the cracks, but I'm also far less distracted. Personally, I don't like to multitask. Instead, I prefer to monotask. So all my time and all my energy is focused on and devoted to doing one thing at a time really well. Similarly, I try to use apps that also do just one thing really well. And I'm sure you're gonna recognize several of the apps I'm gonna mention because they're some of the app store's heaviest hitters. Now here's a tip for you. If you've got an iPad Pro and you need a place to stash your Apple Pencil, you might be interested in today's sponsor, Zugu Case. There's a lot to like about this case, including a robust bumper for major drop protection, a cover with sleep and wake functionality, a magnetic kickstand with eight different viewing angles, and perhaps my favorite part, the built-in Apple Pencil storage. Sleeping on it should've stayed awake, huh? Since every video I make can never be greater than the original idea that it came from, I wanna make sure that I save and organize every idea, thought, or observation that I ever have. And I use two apps to do that. Drafts is the place where I store epiphanies, observations, and inspirations. I use it on my iPhone and Apple Watch the most to type or dictate thoughts with almost zero friction. And the Apple Watch complication is especially convenient. Trello is the place where I store video ideas. I use it on my iPhone, iPad, and Mac, not only to store ideas, but also to rank them since the cards can be so easily rearranged. It's absolutely great for getting a bird's eye view of my content pipeline. Once I've nailed down the content that I'm gonna be making, then I go ahead and get it on my schedule. Mondays are usually for research, Tuesdays are usually dedicated to writing, Wednesdays for shooting, and Thursdays for editing. Fantastical is the calendar app where all that information goes. It gets used most on the iPhone and Apple Watch and ensures that I don't have any event conflicts. It's not the greatest looking calendar app in the world, but I do love the iPhone countdown widget and the ability to import Siri reminders. While Fantastical tracks my events, Things is the place where I stash to-dos. I mostly use it on my iPhone and Apple Watch because the Mac version is ridiculously expensive. The simplicity is great, there aren't any hokey gimmicks, and the Apple Watch complication always keeps me on task. I got two choices when I do this. Make moves or make excuses. The first step in the video production process for me, where I actually dive in and get my hands dirty, is when I'm doing research when I'm out there trying to read everything that I can on the subject at hand. Instapaper is the place where I save articles from Safari, Apple Notes, or Twitter to comb through. I usually like to read through this stuff on my iPhone, but I will say that the web interface is slightly more powerful on the Mac. It's the folders, the highlighting, and the notes features though that are what make this app my go-to. Now, as I'm researching, I also like to begin crafting an outline which will go on to become the backbone of the eventual script. And MindNode is where I put all the random thoughts that are swimming around in my head so I can begin to make sense out of them and connect some dots. It usually gets the most use on my iPhone and iPad, even though it's also available on the Mac, but the Apple Watch app can be surprisingly useful as well. Finally, at this point, I can begin writing a script, and 
that script writing happens in Ulysses. I found that I like to write most on the iPad or the Mac, but the iPhone version is also handy for making quick changes. Splitting documents into separate but connected sheets and storing notes that I've made in drafts earlier on the side of each relevant section is the best. While the majority of my work gets done in the apps that I just mentioned, I also use Apple's default notes and reminders apps, Yoink, and Brain.fm here and there as well. It's the winning team, get the Gatorade. All of these different apps are great, but I've also optimized my digital workspace to help limit distractions. Key apps I've placed front and center, while time-wasting apps have been banished to at least being an extra swipe or tap away. Non-crucial notifications either get turned off or tuned to be delivered quietly, and iPhone widgets and Apple Watch complications are set up for quick input or to glance timely information. And to top it all off, I've also got a Siri shortcut set up that turns on Do Not Disturb for an hour and then plays the music of my choice. And I should also say, I've taken the time to learn some of iOS 12's time-saving gestures. Like if I'm on the widget screen, I can swipe on the home bar to go back to the last app that I was using. Why can't I stop me? You'll never stop me all night. Once I've got a solid script, then it goes into production. After I shoot it, I edit and publish, and then boom, you guys are watching it right here on the channel. Let me wrap this up by saying that in terms of time, life is actually a pretty even playing field. Everyone gets the same one life, everyone gets the same 24 hours a day to make something happen. And your only real advantage is going to be how efficiently you can spend your time. So the question is, are you unstoppable? You can't stop it. Hopefully taking a look at my productivity system gave you some ideas, maybe some inspiration. Let me know what your system looks like down in the comments and I will catch you in the next video. Later. Stop me.